so this is the first vehicle that uh, we're going to show you. So basically we ran stainless steel pipe in a track compression and we were using 3 16 there but a uh, quarter is sufficient. Um, ran into our filters running through a sure flow. Um, this is a booster pump which draws it out of the water tank right there um, and uh, basically running at 12 volt and this is a 12 volt um, uh, vehicle misting system and we've got six nozzles and a 40 I believe this water tank is water tank right there is I believe that's 50 gallon um, we have several in stock um, but uh, I can also order them to the size that you need um, ah this this vehicle <clears throat> also has something unique this vehicle has dual batteries uh, that we ran right down in there you can't really see them the dual Duralast and we also have a ba battery ice oscillator to isolate them and a pressure accumulator tank and that's just so that the sure flow which just kicked on this only kicks on now every minute or so builds up pressure to the accumulator tank and then this takes it from there it's just so that this doesn't run as fast but you don't have to do that so here's another vehicle um hey do me a pop the hood um this truck uh we even also one of the important things sorry is where you locate the nozzles so that people don't think you're on fire you laugh but we used to have these flushed right into the box where the nozzle was here and people would constantly pull this over and think that the vehicle was on fire um it you know and as soon as i changed the uh added the little piece of tubing that got rid of that now under here uh, this is the better way I think to do it. Um, we have our filter, which comes right after our 12 volt uh, utility pump. You can get them at Harbor Freight, or we can sell you one. It draws out of a water tank, which we replaced with a spare tire. Um, and basically, we welded, uh, actually, we welded and bolted it to the frame. Um, so I don't think you can quite see that, but we did a unique little sandwich here. So we have a, uh, a weld where we welded the, um, the, the bolts onto the, uh, basically we welded it, we took a 3 8 bolt and welded it onto this, the angle iron, and then we used a, a nut and a bolt there so that we could sandwich this up and basically make this as tight as it could be against the frame. So on this one we have four nozzles, two on each side, and on this one we added dual batteries. So we basically just ran two batteries in series, one there and one here. We took out the uh, mass airflow, put in a shorty uh, filter, so that basically these run in parallel right here. And this will run about four and a half hours without turning the truck on. The van, of course, since it's on a battery isolator, it, uh, it runs um, uh, for eight to ten hours and it won't kill the battery, it's impossible. So my truck... Uh, did pretty much the same way as the other one. We flushed them into the box here. I haven't really had too many, you know, think we're on fire kind of thing. Same underneath install, only I did a uh, pre-filter right here because um, I was getting some algae. Another thing you can do is put some chlorine in the tank just a little bit every once in a while. And then that, that lets me know that I'm not getting anything big and chunky uh, into my filter. As you can see, we welded a big frame. This is our fill. Um, I did a, just a quick connect for the garden hose. This is where we uh, fill it up and it basically just runs up to the top side of it. Um, make sure to put a vent hole in it so that when you fill it, it doesn't uh, you know, basically make it blow up like a balloon. And then we're drawing out of the center of the bottom. Uh, then over here is same thing. You know, We put this at level with the bottom of the tank so that it draws out of the tank. It then feeds the stuff up there. And then I did my pump in um, I did my pump in my box. So and I also put a dual battery, a secondary battery back here. So um, this is fitting there. 
We used a bulkhead fitting here, which is a part we saw on our website. Um, and then these are flushed in there. Right into a little switch right here. That turns it on, turns it off. And there you have it. And uh, I got one more I can show you. This one, but I'm not sure if this truck's unlocked. No, it's not. Well, this one, we did something unique on the ladder rack. We basically flushed, uh, we put a nozzle adapter right there. And this actually came out. There's a coupling, coupling behind it. And so we did two there and ran the line. Need to add a clamp, but you know, my, my people later. Here we go, this one probably will, no. Actually, yeah, there you go. So we did a coupling there and a little bushing, a little bushing there, coupling, nozzle adapter, and then bam. Or like so. There you go. And then there's the other ones right there. And that's, a, that's the vehicle misting systems. Um, 